precious metals to enhance domestic value addition in gold and precious metal jewelry in the country i propose to reduce customs duties on gold and silver to 6% and that of platinum to 6.4% other metals steel and copper are important raw materials to reduce the cost of production i propose to remove the bcd on ferro nickel and blister copper i am also continuing with nil bcd on ferrous scrap and nickel cathode and concessional bcd of 2.5% on copper scrap electronics to increase value addition in the domestic electronics industry i propose to remove the bcd subject to conditions on oxygen free copper for manufacture of resistors i also propose to exempt certain parts for manufacture of connectors chemicals and petrochemicals to support existing and new capacities in the pipeline i propose to increase the bcd on ammonium nitrate from 7.5% to 10% plastics pvc flex banners are bio non biodegradable and hazardous for environment and health to curb their imports i propose to raise the bcd on them from 10 to 25% telecommunication equipment to incentivize domestic manufacturing i propose to increase the bcd from 10 to 15% on pcba of specific specified telecom equipment trade facilitation to promote domestic aviation and boat and ship mro i propose to extend the period of ex period for export of goods imported for repairs from 6 months to 1 year i'll read that again to promote domestic aviation and boat and ship maintenance repair and operations i propose to extend the period for export of goods imported for repairs from 6 months to 1 year in the same vein i propose to extend the time limit for reimport of goods for repairs under warranty from 3 to 5 years i now move to direct taxes we will continue our efforts to simplify taxes taxes improve taxpayer services provide tax certainty and reduce litigation while enhancing revenues for funding the development and welfare schemes of the government it is it has been our endeavor to simplify taxation we have taken a number of measures in the last few years including introduction of simplified tax regimes without exemptions and deductions for corporate tax and for personal income tax this has been appreciated by taxpayers 58% of corporate tax came from the simplified tax regime in the financial year 22-23 similarly as per data available till now for the last fiscal more than 2/3 have availed the new personal income tax regime comprehensive review of the income tax act i am now announcing a comprehensive review of the income tax act 1961 the purpose is to make the act concise lucid easy to read and understand this will reduce disputes and litigation thereby providing tax certainty to the taxpayers i will also bring down the demand embroiled in litigation it is proposed to be completed in 6 months a beginning is being made in the finance bill by simplifying the tax regime for charities tds rate structures provisions of reassessment and such provisions and capital gains taxation simplification for charities and tds two tax exemption regimes the two tax exemption regimes for charities are proposed to be merged into one the 5% tds rate on many payments is being merged into the 2% tds rate and the 20% tds rate on repurchase of units 
by mutual funds or UTI is being withdrawn. Tedious rate on e-commerce operators is proposed to be reduced from 1 to 0.1%. Moreover, credit of TCS is proposed to be given in the TDS to be deducted on salary. Further, I propose to decriminalize delay for payment of TDS up to the due date of filing statement for the same. I also plan to provide a standard operating procedure for TDS defaults and simplify and rationalize the compounding guidelines for such defaults. Simplification of reassessment. I propose to thoroughly simplify the provisions for reopening and reassessment. An assessment hereinafter can be reopened beyond three years from the end of the assessment year only if the escaped income is 50 lakh rupees or more up to a maximum period of five years from the end of the assessment year. Even in search cases, a time limit of six years before the year of the search as against the existing time limit of 10 years is being proposed. This will reduce tax uncertainty and disputes.